the main thing with Sebastian that we're trying to fix is that tooth that's in crossbite sitting behind this other tooth. Um, and so what's what's happened now because of that is your upper teeth have kind of shifted over into this direction. Um, so that's that's a good thing. Um, this is the arch and this is the tooth that's kind of further back than the others. Um, so the way that we correct this is we want to make space for this tooth to come out. And the main way we're going to do that is by putting a kind of spring in between these two teeth and they're going to kind of push them and that'll push all the teeth around but that'll bring enough space for this tooth to come forward. Mm -hmm. So at first we're going to put just your upper braces on um, and then we're going to um, open up your bite a little bit because right now your bite is very tight and it's socked in so if you were to put braces on on the bottom you would bite them off. So at first we're going to start with just the top. Um, once we get enough space here for this tooth to come forward, then we'll put your braces on for the bottom and uh, we'll put some um, bite bumps on your back teeth here to kind of open your bite up a little bit. That way we can put those braces on on the bottom. We'll straighten everything out and then, uh, and then you should be pretty good to go. Um, the main thing here that we want to do is we want to bring um, the lower jaw into its proper, or sorry, the upper jaw into its proper position. So these teeth kind of should be sitting right in between the lower teeth. And so we'll do that with some rubber bands. And I'm sure you have friends that have braces, they wear the rubber bands. So we'll show you how to use those as well. Um, but overall, it should be a pretty straightforward treatment. Mm -hmm. No teeth are coming out, so that's good. Really, the only time limiting factor is going to be um, opening that space up there. So, how long till I get my bottom braces? Braces. Um, so, it's going to be about one or two appointments, so not too long. Maybe uh, like a month. Maybe good question. It was my question, months. too. Yeah. Um, how long in total do you think it's, it's going to take the whole So, we life? estimate about 24 months. So, so two years. yeah, about two years. Um, as long as you, we do a good job of wearing the rubber bands and um, keeping your teeth clean, it should be done a lot quicker than that. But um, 24 months is kind of what we normally see. Um, so to start today, we're going to put some spacers in between your molars here. And when you come back next week, you're going to have enough space to be able to fit a ring around these teeth. So it should be pretty painless next week. Mm -hmm. Um, we just want to put the spacers in to start opening a little bit of the space over time. So will I actually have the braces this week? Next week. Next week. Next okay. week, yeah. So this week we're just going to put the little blue spacers in between your teeth and you'll, okay. you'll see it's pretty pretty painless and pretty quick. All right. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for him. Um, and if there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer it. But right. feel free to ask. Um, and then Dr. Shin is going to go over this again as well, um, but just kind of um, giving you the overview of what it's like to have braces um, and what are kind of the rules of braces, what are the risks associated with braces. So the big thing with braces are when you move your teeth um, from being crooked into being straight, your teeth have a tendency to go back to being crooked. So here you've got um, crowded teeth and we straightened out the guy's teeth, but he didn't wear his retainer and because of that his teeth went back to the way they used to be. So in your case we're going to give you retainers after we're done with your treatment to keep your teeth the way that they are. And those are for life. You wear those um, for the rest of your life. And mm -hmm. so um, in the beginning it'll be all the time. You'll take them out when you're brushing your teeth or when you're eating food, but then eventually we'll get it to just wearing it at night. Mm -hmm. um, so I wear my retainers at night now, that's how I keep my teeth um, straight. And then we also, since that tooth up there is the main culprit, like it, it's going to want to go back to where it used to be. Mm -hmm. So to avoid that, we're going to put like a um, permanent retainer on the back of that, kind of like this, mm -hmm. like a little metal wire, and that just stays on it permanently and it's, it, it'll keep it from going back. So that's our plan for that. Um, this is the big thing with braces. Whenever you put braces on, you're adding all this like metal, all this um, this stuff that can trap food and bacteria and stuff. So 
Um, because of that, what we see a lot of times with braces is people don't do a good job of brushing their teeth and you get what's called white spot lesions. So these are the white spots you see around their teeth where their braces used to be. And basically that's the breakdown of your teeth. And to avoid that, we want to make sure that you do a good job brushing your teeth. We're going to teach you exactly what to do at home mm -hmm. brushing wise. Um, but we don't want to get here to a point where you get cavities, your gums get really inflamed, you bleed your, a lot. We want to avoid that. So we want to make sure we're doing a good job brushing and keeping your teeth clean. And so say, okay, so, okay, so say if I have like the white spots, will that be permanent? Like will that just stay on forever? So the, your dentist is able to um, fix that with some treatments, but of course that costs money. Yeah. Um, we want to avoid any kind of like future restorations if we can. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, you got to do a good job of brushing your yeah. teeth. Um, we do see them go down eventually over time, but just we don't even want to see them at yeah. all in the first place. Yeah. Um, and then if we do notice that it's happening and it's becoming to a point where you're not doing a good job anymore of brushing your teeth, we'll take the braces off and let you go to your dentist, do some cleanings, get back in control of brushing your teeth again, and then we'll put the braces back on. But, mm -hmm. but we want to avoid taking them off. Um, so root resorption, this is your, your lower teeth here, and this is the bone around your teeth. So your bone kind of has a tendency to eat away at the roots of your teeth when you're moving them around. And so this is somebody who had nice long roots and then at the end of treatment, their roots got shorter. So there's nothing really that you can do to avoid that. We're gonna watch that, monitor it by taking x-rays. If it gets to the point where it's all the way up here and your teeth are starting to flop around, we're gonna take your braces off and let it heal. Your teeth will heal. And once it's all healed up, then we can put the braces back on, but it's something we wanna avoid. So just something to be aware of that, you, that might happen to you. Um, this is something you see with older patients, so I'm not too worried about you, but um, whenever you're moving teeth around, your bone will stay in kind of the level that it's at, and you'll see a lot of these like black triangles open up. Um, it doesn't look too good. It's kind of unesthetic. It makes you look a little older, um, mm -hmm. but your dentists and ourselves will work to make sure that we reduce that, and in your case, I don't see it being a big issue at all. Okay. And then finally, we're gonna try our best to get 100% of the results that we can get. Um, but, but there may be a time where we have to reach a compromise, like this isn't working out the way we want it to, but if you're happy with the teeth and we're happy with the teeth, then we're, we're gonna be happy with the treatment. So there's a chance we might not get 100% of the ideal results, but we'll, we'll try our best to get there. Um, so those are kind of the, the risks associated with it. So Dad, I'm just gonna have you sign off on understanding what we're um, doing.